As expected, this year's NATO summit served to renew its support for Ukraine and demonstrate its solidarity against North Korea, Russia and China. Our foreign affairs correspondent Pei Yunji reports on what this could mean for regional security. The leaders of 32 NATO member states have issued a joint declaration, which strongly condemns North Korea's arms cooperation with Russia, as well as China's efforts to support Moscow with military supplies. Calling China the decisive enabler in the war, they urged the country to cease all material and political support to Russia's war efforts, adding that it has become a large-scale supporter of Moscow's defense industrial base. This is the first time that the Western Military Alliance has publicly denounced China's military support for Russia. Not only are Iran and North Korea important when it comes to enabling Russia's war aggression against Ukraine, but China is the main enabler because, as you refer to, they, 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 they are delivering uh, the tools, the dual-use uh, equipment, uh, the microelectronics, everything uh, Russia needs to build the missiles, uh, the, uh, the bombs, uh, the aircraft uh, and all the other uh, systems they use against uh, Ukraine. Beijing dismissed the criticism, saying that parts of the joint statement related to China are full of lies and smears, and warned the alliance to stay out of Asia. The South Korean government said it welcomes the joint declaration that includes strong condemnation of Pyongyang's export of artillery shells and ballistic missiles to Moscow, highlighting once again that the regime's move is a violation of UN Security Council resolutions. We believe that the 32 NATO member states voicing their opposition to illegal arms trade and the strengthening of military and economic cooperation between Russia and North Korea sends a strong message to both countries, based on the fact that the security of Europe and Asia are interconnected. One expert on North Korea says NATO's moves are aimed at isolating China, North Korea and Russia. I think this will further solidify tensions between the U.S., South Korea and Japan against North Korea, China and Russia regarding the situation on the Korean Peninsula and other regional issues in Northeast Asia. Wednesday's joint declaration comes as European leaders are set to sit down with the leaders of four Asia-Pacific nations, South Korea, Japan, Australia and New Zealand, for talks in Washington on Thursday local time. Arirang News.